Good morning, hydroponicers. I okay. This is the first screen that I would like to share. Okay, this is all my hydroponic setup. So in here, this is the bed. Yeah, the bed type. There's a uh, ten tubes in here, and then each tube have uh, eight holes. Yeah. So and then another one. This is the A set up an A uh, shape. So in each row in here have a 10, 10 until 12 holes and then uh, all in here is a bok choy okay all in here is a bok choy and then at the other one at the other side in here at the back is a is a installation the setup that I put it on the wall okay the reason is why I started with this kind of uh, hydroponic setup is because that um, is the locations of the sunlight so when in the morning the sunlight is come from the east over there so it will directly um, it will directly uh, what is it the lights <coughs> facing to the wall so this is the reason why I put the setup on the wall and then the first times that I put it it's just only four tube okay on the wall and then after that uh, after a couple um, few months and then I started to build of this a setup this is the DFT so I watch from the YouTube and then I watch how is it this kind of setup is being created so I made it by my own and then I buy some of the tools and then the whole soul and then everything and then uh, I start to create this uh, a setup the triangle or we can, we can call it a triangle and then after a couple of months again then I built this kind of uh, bed uh, type hydroponics bed type but before I created this uh, bed type uh, I also create a more higher uh, triangle set up in here but after I think uh, about two months and then I saw the sunlight cannot be uh, the plants cannot be get a full of the sunlight so I change it to become bed type okay today actually I want to share um, how I rotate yeah how I rotate because uh, because in this couple of months uh, a lot of uh, raining so some of the some of the plants did not get a full of sunlight so I want to show you how I rotate this all of the uh, bok choy okay so this is the bok choy that I put it inside in our installations in the bed type and then usually like this um, as you can see in here at the bottom tube in here you can see that some of the plants is too leggy so usually like this if I saw some of the uh, bok choy on the top line on the top tube in here and then it's ready to harvest so I just take it out or maybe I just put it on the second row in here and then the one that is too leggy I will put it up this is how I did it because on the top tube usually they will get a more higher sunlight okay more higher sunlight so you can see that in here a lot of, of the plants most of the abokcha in here is a uh, get less of sunlight so I put it on the top so in here on the second tube on the second tube in here is a mostly that it can be ready to harvest yeah but I just only want to wait some of the uh, customer that need to order right the same in here this is uh, ready to harvest but uh, usually uh, want want this uh, pot is not until 200, uh, not until I'm not sure about 100 grams yeah but we can see that the stem is not too big yeah we just leave it and then in here you can see that that a lot of, of the bok choy are too leggy okay some of the I can show to you this is the too leggy because not enough sunlight right okay not enough sunlight and then after that you can see that on the top tube on the top tube I put it on the more on the outside this here this is more uh, too leggy because why because I want to rotate yeah, I rotate it so it can get more of sunlight 
okay all right so this one also yeah let's get inside because in here i also put some of the mint yeah mint leaves usually i use it for uh tea yeah the tea and then also in here has a basil yeah basil this is the borneo basil this is a Borneo basil that I took the seeds from my parents and then I put it in here. Okay, the basil, I think maybe it's not the same like in the other country. Alright, let's take a look of the outside of the fence. Okay. Alright, this is uh, the bok choy and the lettuce on the lettuce on the um, fence okay now in here the reason why I put the lettuce on the fence is because that I want to I want the grasshopper will not come to my bok choy and then uh, the reason why I will put the lettuce in here is because the lettuce will not be bite by the grasshopper or another insect because when I put inside in my setup, uh, the lettuce is really secure. There's no pest will come. So this is the reason why I put it outside so it can be mixed with the bok choy. Because the bok choy is more uh, the grasshopper will come and then eat some of them. Yeah. All right. I think that's the the lettuce update. If you have any questions, you can ask. Okay, you can ask and then uh, why why this one why the seedling in here is uh, not the same size with the inside this because that uh, this is the extra seedling so this extra seedling is because that that they did not have uh, enough nutrients the reason why the reason that I put it in here okay I put it in the container that does not have enough the nutrients so they grow not really improper yeah and then another reason is uh, no more hole to put these seedlings all right uh, okay uh, i think that's all for today's update uh, please don't forget to subscribe like and comment if you have any questions please ask bye bye see you next update